Tel Halaf is the principal fortress of the Knights of the Armina region. For generations, their dukes have kept the peace and ensured free passage through the district. Lord Kerman, paladin of the order, governs the garrison with an iron fist, holding off an ever-increasing threat from the north. Okay. Yunk. Sprint. There you go. Jesus, why is it so hard to sprint? I wonder if I should use my mace. I want to eventually use the combat sword, but I don't have enough stamina at the moment. Oh, I hear someone. Hi. Oh, God, there you are. Damn, you blocked that like a pro. Travel rations. I, I've actually never seen that drop from an enemy before. Weird. <laughs> this wooden shield has 13. Even less than the other shield. I'm so glad I took it. I guess I shouldn't have destroyed it with my power attack. Who made that noise? I heard you. Oh shit. Let's try the Southern Cross. It didn't work. Fuck, this, this sword is horrible. The power attack is good, but if you... The normal attacks are just horrendous. Got like three hits on him and I only did like 20 or 30 damage. What did I just take? Oh. Additional mace. Yeah, I'm gonna try the mace. It might be best just to exploit the power attack, though, until I can use the combat sword. Oh no, this is way better. Doesn't like eating dirty meat off the ground. Let's try the combat sword. <laughs> um, I'd say it's pretty powerful. Fortunately, I don't have the power attack with it, though. That is not its special attack, it is a different weapon. Okay, see that guy in the distance? Yeah, that's going to be my first one of that. They're difficult. They have like... Three, four hundred hit points. Or at least this one will. Oh, two hundred, okay. Well, they'll get more hit points in the future. In fact, I think I might need the power attack for this guy. Oh. 
No, no, you don't. Don't drink a fucking potion, you son of a bitch. I hate it when they drink potions. It just enrages me. Ooh, orc sword. Hmm. Yeah, what does the orc sword do? So the combat sword does 35 damage. Orc sword does 30. However, the combat sword does minus 20 defense, the orc sword is minus zero defense. Just plain. How much stamina do I have? With this thing. Pretty good. Pretty good stamina with this thing, too. Yeah. Even with the minus defense, I think this thing might just be better. Does 43 as opposed to... 38? Hmm. Not a huge difference. You know, maybe it is better. To use this. It doesn't do that much less damage, but I have a lot more defense. I wonder how much that matters. Seems like the combat sword's longer, though. I wonder if there's actually different... I mean, it's a one-handed sword. I wonder if all one-handed swords have the same attack distance. Let's find out. So the orc sword will not hit the wall from here. Nor will that. It's really hard to tell. It looks like it's longer. But it's hard to tell. I'll go with this. A little bit less damage, but much better defense. Imagine how much food poisoning this guy would get from eating all of this food just left in barrels. Who knows how old this stuff is? Could be like two year old cheese. something behind this. Holy shit. I didn't do too well there. I almost want to just go back to the mace. They give you five hit points. An apple a day keeps the death away.
Who wants to fight me? Hi. Next. At some point I'm gonna be going in a circle here. I might already might already be going in a circle actually. Why? Someone tell me, why would meat be inside of a vase? Gigantic vase. Why would meat be inside of it? Yeah, let's uh, bring him out here. Hello. Oh, he doesn't want to come. Looks like he has his own territory there. Stoop kid doesn't want to come. Doesn't want to come off of his stoop. Oh, okay. Oh, he does want to come off of his stoop. Well, if you're gonna come off there, why don't you? Ah, you little shit. Fine, fine. You gonna hide there? I'm gonna throw buckets at your face. some damage. Yeah, fighting uh, an enemy above you on the stairs, not so good. What the hell? Someone just tried to shoot something. Oh, hi. <laughs> Bye. Side. I think I just need to take a healing potion. Straight up. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, there's another big guy. Oh, this one's got 400 health. Double the previous one. I'm just... <laughs> no. Okay, uh... Mace? Seems too weak at this point. I think I might just need to use the Gladius and its special attack. Let's try the Mace. See what happens. Oh, that's great. It did 20 damage to him. Yeah, uh, we're not using the mace. Try the combat sword. I don't even have another shield. Shield always blocks my attacks. Okay, 
Okay, almost. Almost got him. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so lucky that missed. Got him. Oh. Ooh, got a good shield too, although I've probably hit it so many times it's, yeah, 62 out of 300. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the defense system in this game works. You can see in the bottom left it says minus 12 defense because of the sword I'm carrying. Does that mean I take 12 more damage? Like, is that just straight damage? That means I'll take 12 more damage than I normally would. And if I have 8, like, 8 defense, that means I take 8 less damage than I normally would? I don't really know how it works. Alright, I've come full circle. That's where I've come in. Now, where do I go? I remember I got a little bit stuck here before. And then I figured out where the hell to go. Now where was it? I know there's a little pathway down here. I don't believe I can actually go here yet, though. No. Yeah, later I'll end up coming out of here. In the meantime, I need to... Where I need to go? It's somewhere up here. Somewhere on the upper level. Sprint. Yeah, useless bastard. Sprint! So it's in one of these towers. I know that. Chaos Sword. Oh, that's a, that's a two-handed thing. That is meant for the barbarian guy. Anything I want to dump? Hmm, not really. I was thinking of taking that... Chaos Sword just for the fun of it, but I don't really want to dump anything that I have. I love how violently they explode. <laughs> I'm eating meat just out of a bucket. You have to question why a, a leg of meat, or a lamb of whatever, a hunk of meat, would be inside of a bucket. That's suspicious meat. Okay, this is probably where I go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember this section. I remember I fought this guy about 20 times until I finally realized, oh, I think I'll just not. Like, I just ran past him because I couldn't defeat him. Jesus, doing a lot better against this guy. Need room? Need room? Fuck. And there I've lost all my health. Fucking great. Oh my god. I fought that guy like 20 times last time and couldn't defeat him. And I just did it in one fell swoop. Jesus. You see, the combat in this game is so difficult. That. Well, you know in some games how you end up at a point where there's these... There's the... What'd you call them? The lackeys? There's the general, generic enemies that you see all the time that are really weak. And it gets to the point where 
you see them and you know they're not really a challenge, right? You just kind of cut through them as if they're paper. Even those enemies in this game, which would be those little guys, those little, I don't know what the hell they are. Those orcish things that I've been cutting up. The ones with like 100 hit points or less. Even those guys, even those guys can kick your ass if you're not careful. And that's really cool. You know, every enemy matters. It's not like you see an enemy and there's a type where it's just a... Uh, it's easy to do, easy to kill. It's not even a threat. You just kind of ignore it and slice through them. But no, every enemy, except for maybe those little ankle biter things and spiders. Almost every enemy in the game, no matter how small, can be a threat if you're not careful. You always have to be on the tips of your toes. I really like that. Okay. I think there's a secret up here. What the hell was that noise? Jump scare without the jump scare? Biting axe? Don't think I care about that. Oh crap. Okay. Run. Run! Don't hit me! Oh god. I don't have a shield. I do not have a shield. Get close. Quickly. Because they'll switch from their bow to their normal thing when you get close. Okay. Uh... What do I have left? I do have a 500 heal, plus I have a full life potion. I want to save the full life potion. I kind of want to just get enough XP to level up, because that'll restore my HP. But realistically, I'm going to die. 57 hit points? No. Okay, I need a shield. Badly. What's through here? Can't climb over that. Okay, I'll go around. It looks like he's trying to decide whether to switch to his bow or his club. Look at him twitch. I'm gonna take a drink of water and just watch this guy twitch. You doing alright there? Hmm? Did he just die? <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Mr. Twitchy. I almost feel bad for you. Does this guy have anything on him? No. Maybe he didn't die, is that him? <sighs> I can't tell. Ah, uh, here we go. Duke's bedroom key. Is that a shield? Yes, it is. That's a 300 health shield. Oh my god, please stop making noise down there. More axe. No thanks. Let's go pay a visit.
Ooh, a scythe. I wonder if that thing will cut me when I throw it. Okay, well, I'm pretty confident I'm never gonna use the Gladius again. Even with its pretty awesome attack, its base damage is just horrible. So, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna be using that. But at least they look intimidating. you be doing that? You little shit. That was easier than I thought it'd be. I can't believe I just got hit there, wow. There we go. Oh, I can't climb it. Okay, where to now? I think I need to use the key, but where? Where's the Duke's bedroom? health is this shield? I have 77 out of 300. Not too good. Okay, so what can I do now that I'm level 6? Well, I'm gonna get the special attack for the mace at level 7. Abilities-wise, there's... I've still got the North Cross, which I kind of forgot about. I've also got the Speed Kill and the Hawk Attack. Okay, yeah, so the uh, the level 5, 6, 7, and 8 attacks here. Speed Kill, Hawk Attack, Low Slash, and Ripper. They sound fancy, but basically all they are is just attacking in the same direction twice. You can see Speed Kill is right attack, right attack. Hawk Attack is left attack, left attack. So they're really not complex to remember. So at the moment, I have right attack, right attack, and left attack, left attack unlocked. So if I do this... No, do this. I said do this. There we go. And left attack, left attack, does... does... that. Oop, ran out of energy. Okay, so as far as attacks that I'm actually going to want to use with this sword, I guess it would just be... really just the... north cross, and then the left attack, and the right attack. Yeah. Let's see how many north crosses I can do before I run out of energy. One, two, just two. Okay. Right, well, I'm pretty sure I've gotten in a circle at this point. So I think it's time to go up. I 
think I need to like get in there, but how? Something down there? Nope. And that's just a dead end. I seriously don't remember where to go. Yeah, the levels in this game are kind of labyrinthian. How in the hell? I've already been through this level before. That's the worst part. I just don't friggin' remember. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm obviously not getting up up here. So I've got to get it up somewhere else. But I've already walked around the lower part and there's nothing here, right? <laughs> the hell? Weird collision geometry there. By the way, this game has no side strafing. Which is why I'm always moving forwards. Or turning rather than actually moving to the side. It's really annoying. Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. I just remembered this place. There's a couple tricksy little hiders here. I'm not worried about the small one, I'm worried about the big one. Ah, yes! The big guy cut the smaller guy. I love when that happens. Friendly fire. Let's see if I get these special attacks off. <laughs> no. Try again. Yeah, he got it off, but hit a shield. Should be a lot easier now that he doesn't have a shield. Yeah, the problem with those special attacks is that they take a long time to execute. Didn't do too bad there. Like this attack. It looks fancy, but the time it takes to actually hit someone means you're probably going to be interrupted. Just look at that. You can see... As fancy as it looks, look at when the actual particle effect hits the wall. Try that again. Try that again. It's surprisingly hard to get directional attacks to work consistently. Yeah, it's, it's like a full second before, before that special move actually hits anything. actually hits twice. And I'm out of energy again. Yeah, so I don't think that attack is particularly useful against these enemies where you need to attack quickly, but against slower enemies, maybe. Upstairs. Also, how much do I have left on my shield? Still 77, okay. There we go. And this is where I was trying to get, and I just unlocked it. Hmm. 
And there's the other doorway unlocked too. Okay, let's upstairs. I hate it when my shield breaks. Stuns you for a second. Oh, round shield. Hold on. Three hundred pristine. Yes. I believe the Duke's chambers are over... Nope, they're not here. Never mind. Somewhere else. Too many objects of this type. Hmm. In that case, I'm just going to go ahead and use my current one. Because I doubt I'm going to be coming back here. Three hits on me. It feels like a hit against my honor when I get hit by those lowly things. Like, I should be better than this. Here we go. Bell sword. Oh, I thought maybe I needed the book or something. Get out of here. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus. Where the hell did you come from? Fucking hell. Okay, um, is the elf sword any good? Hold on, what does it do? Ooh, does a lot of damage. I guess it is good. Yes, it is. Here he comes, I think. I think I just saw him. When do I get the special attack? Level 9, so it's quite far away. Didn't I just see you? There he is. Okay. Hello? Do you want to come? No? You just gonna stay bugged out at the bottom of the stairs? I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. You know, the exact same thing happened last time I encountered him. The thing is, last time I encountered him, he didn't freaking surprise me in the Duke's bedroom. But yeah, he got bugged out of the stairs. Guess it's just a thing that happens. Good old death sword. Not for me. That's for the barbarian. Back to what I was doing before. Um... I think your little genie pot thing here looks like it's kind of burning out of control. It seems like kind of a fire hazard to have that huge open flame next to a bed. Okay, do I need 
Like a scroll or something? Parchment? Nope, don't need parchment. Okay. Down we go. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Incredible writing is incoming in just a second. Prepare for the most tear-jerking scene in gaming history. Get ready for it. Friend, we have been betrayed. The orcs fell on us during the night. My lord the duke, my life ebbs away. My lord the duke has been taken prisoner. Rescue him, please. He is our one and only hope. Take this to aid Take your this comically large and read key. In this parchment, the final orders of my master. Still a better love story than Twilight. Combat sword. Already got one. Wooden shield. I've already got wood. And metal. I don't think there's anything over here. That's where it just came from, right? Yes. Nothing over here. Nope. Oh, yes. So there's this. Don't know why it makes the wall explode. This will just take me out of the level. I can just leave. That just comes out at the waterfall, so pretty much back to the beginning there. But, I'd like to do this. Now, I think these these sections here, this sort of rune thing, I think it's optional. Which makes me wonder what happens if you don't do it, but... Yeah, let's go through it. It's like a, sort of like a challenge thing where you need to get a rune or something or other. You'll see. Okay. Now, you might say this looks a little bit suspicious, right? This hallway here? Indeed it does. But don't worry, everything's fine right now. It'll look extra suspicious when I come back through it. How the Prince of Darkness began to manipulate the primordial chaos to create a new being. And how, before it could be dominated, the being came to life and became independent of its creator. And how the Lord of Chaos was between the gods. So, there you go. I've gained... A secret? I think. Yeah, these six tablets tell the story of creation, so I guess I have one of the six tablets. With these tablets, the runes of power are found. These were given as a gift by... something in order to keep the threat of chaos, the destroyer at bay from the earth. The bearer of the sword must place, place the six runes on the sacred altar in order to be granted the power of light. So this is what I'm wondering. You need to place the six runes on some altar, I'm assuming at the end of the game, to be granted the power of light. So what if you don't do this? Does it, like, give you a different ending, or... You know what, you do select where you want to go on the map, so maybe if you don't do this, you just have to come back. Maybe you can come back to these... Oh god, come back to these places and do it. I totally forgot about the floor changing. Uh, so yeah. A little bit of a challenge to get out of here.
see. Okay, not that much of a challenge. And we're done. I like how it always sounds like the guy's falling. The has been taken by an army of malevolent orcs. However, their chief was no simple orc, but some more powerful being. His attack has not been decisive. It seems that his aim was not to conquer the castle, but to find something hidden there. Lord Kerman, a man of great wisdom and a worthy knight, has been taken prisoner. Not Lord Kerman, no. All right, time to go to the mines of Kilbegin. One of those word salad fantasy names. The mines beneath Mount Kelbegin form one of the main dwarf settlements in this region. Its principal sources of wealth are weapons-grade steel and the obsidian used for carving sacred objects. It is a very ancient site known to all races and peoples from the central kingdoms to the far peoples of the sea, unlike the other cities of the dwarves, which are generally secret places. Since time began, the dwarves have struggled against evil. Safe beneath the mountains, they have accumulated the wisdom, wealth, and power combat the forces of darkness. Is it possible for a game to have more of a cliche story than this? A dwarven mining settlement? Fighting against the forces of darkness? Fighting against evil? I mean, oh my god. <laughs> yep, this level has a lot of jumping. A lot of platforming. Also, balls. Oh, I guess I have to go up. Oh, here we go. Now the ball comes. Whatever will I do? Surely I won't stand calmly beneath the place where he can't reach me and be perfectly safe. Bye. Like Indiana Jones or something. Wait, did Indiana Jones actually have balls? I'm pretty sure Indiana Jones had balls. The movie is not the person. Yeah, not making that jump. Kill's not doing too bad. 163 out of 300. Take a couple more hits. I think there's another ball section. Yep. Whatever will I do? Surely not stay put and be perfectly safe. I. Oh, he didn't get hit by the ball. Damn it. You ball dodging, ball dodging motherfucker. Ooh, I actually got that special attack off. God, I got hit way too many times there. At least two times where I could have easily avoided it. My shield's probably kaput. Almost. 73. I 
think. This little stash over here has an elf sword, which is what I'm using. I really watch your footing here. Elf sword? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Whew. I guess there's a collision mesh there. Thank you. Thank you for that game, developers. Hmm, cheese. Cheese in a box. More cheese in a box and even some bread. I just realized this guy eats a shit ton of suspect food, but he doesn't drink. He's gonna. I mean, he's eating huge bits of bread and cheese without drinking a single drop of fluid. He's gonna have dehydration. Okay. So. Let's see if he'll actually come towards me. I don't think he will. No. And there's a reason for that. You might think the floor looks kind of unstable. You would be very correct. Oh wait, hold on. I need to put this away. Gotta run faster. So yes, really gotta read your environment. I think stuff starts falling when I walk across here, right? Yeah. Oh, up here there's a big guy and a little guy with an arrow. Oh shit! Jesus. Didn't mean to jump there. Forget the guy with the arrow, I want this guy. Unfortunately, it's a very restrictive place to fight him in. Fuck. God, he destroyed my full wooden shield in one hit. Screw you! Die! Ah. Oh, I had another round shield. Didn't even realize that. Hmm. I might want to use my full health potion. In fact, I don't even have anything else to use, so yeah, let's use it. Gotta use those sparingly. There's not very many of them. I right, screw you, arrow guy. I'm not wasting my shield on you. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it. Try and hit me. Holy shit, that was close. Oh, these little shits. Hi. Please come closer. You okay there? Let me help you. What the hell? It sounds like there's another one. Maybe it's trapped in the wall. I believe there's a bunch of enemies here. Come on. Yep. Alright, let's let them... Let's let them beat each other off. I mean, beat each other up. Yeah, I hear meaty smacks. 
There we go. They're fighting each other. <laughs> yeah, they get uh, they get angry at each other. Come on, guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get. Yeah, that's probably the best I'm gonna do. I just want to get the little guy. There we go. There we go. I need this guy alone. Not too bad. Okay. Now, down there I need to place three differently colored gems. So I need to get... Uh, basically I have mini quests to get the three different gems. Down all these different pathways. So let's go get... let's go get one of them. Wow. I'm not too impressed with the range on this sword. Oh shit, oh shit, Jesus. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get now my shield and you shoot me with an arrow. Dick. Not cool. Wow. He ate through my shield at 182. It's a pretty powerful little guy. Oh, thank God I leveled up. Okay, what can I do at level 7? I can do Royal Smash with my mace now, but the problem is my mace is just... It doesn't do much damage. And now I can do the down attack, down attack. Yeah, I still... Even after playing this game for many hours, I still can't get the directional attacks to consistently happen in the direction that I want. <laughs> I just love the low energy attacks. It's like you go from being a perfect, incredibly athletic fighter to just not having any energy at all. There, I'm trying to do the lower attack, but... Alright. I really need to use my combos more. It's just these guys attack, attack so fast... Attack so fast that it's hard to really... Get the time to do a combo without getting interrupted. And if you bounce it off their shield even one time, it's, it's all over. I need to fall. Yeah, I gotta fall down. Careful. Careful. Actually, I think there's a safe place to go down. Yeah, right here. I think there's a weapon over here. Type of axe that I don't want. Biting axe, heavy axe, war axe. OMG spiders! 
Makes them seem like they're dangerous. They're not. They're not even remotely dangerous. Done. Oh shit, I've already got another power potion. Eh, I'll leave it. I'm not gonna use a power potion on spiders. That cart should be able to come down here and smash through this, but I can't see any way to make that happen. Just in case I don't make this. Nope, made it. <laughs> they try to trick you here. You think, oh, I just jumped across a huge gap. Maybe I can jump across this one. Nope. Way too big. You gotta go this way. And there's the gem. Now fight each other. Come on. Oh, I heard it. Sounded good. Come on, I want more wet, meaty smacks. Okay, not against me. Alright, fuck it. Come on. I mean, really, you can't get more cliche than this, right? Picking up a gigantic glowing red gem to stick into a thing to make stuff happen. That's about as cheesy as you can get. On his quest to fight evil, one man with no character development at all will fight against evil and darkness to defeat the evil and darkness to save the world. Yes. I give this barrel destroying simulator mm, 9 out of 10 stars. Very happy with this product. I feel like it simulates the experience of destroying barrels very accurately. And we're back here. So yes, that's one little mini level. One of the three gems. Oh right, more pop-up. Wow, I'm not doing too good. That's better.
<laughs> this thing's got 27 health. Nope. Okay. So there was gem number one through there. Other gems are through here. And I will get those in the next episode. So yeah, this game is really freaking fun. It's super, super generic in the story and the setting and the environments and all of that. There's really nothing I like about it except the combat. But the combat's strong enough that it really does keep it fun. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon. And in the next episode, I'm going to get the rest of the two gems and stick them over there and make stuff happen.